Not whole island drowning. Not whole island is suffering from an endless storm. I just can't please you people, can I? But anyways, this is Guy Kush and I with Let's Play Fable 2, Not Whole Island. In the last episode, we got the sun... No, wait, we got the storm totem from the sun shrine. Confusing. Yeah. But anyways, we're going to go back to Not Whole Island. You can probably guess where this is going. Essentially, we're going to be going to the last of the shrines to get the last of the totems, I believe. Unless there's a... Like, I don't know. Let's see what element we're going to be shifting this island to this time. Well, I mean, I just said it's the last bloody island, so you can probably guess what a totem we're going to be going after. They're just never happy. Chieftain make it hot. Chieftain make it rain. Chieftain make the rain go away. I'm just a poor, unelected official. Hmm? Our choice was. So, the bringer of drizzle, flooding, and chaos returns. Your meddling must have angered the gods, because they haven't stopped spitting at us since you left. I hold you personally responsible, and there's only one way what? to resolve this. What? But this was your idea! You took all the credit! You must find the final totem and restore the power over the weather to me. I, I mean, to, to, to us. Enter the storm shrine and bring me, us, the ice totem, and you will be compensated, and so on and so forth. Yeah, all right. Assuming the rains haven't washed it away, the storm key should be buried somewhere over there. Uh, do this great deed, and you um, should be remembered always as our greatest hero. Absolutely. <sighs> I wish I could just put a bullet in your head. That would solve so many problems. I mean, you have all these enemies that kind of just monologue. Why don't you just pull out a gun and shoot them right between the eyes? That will certainly shut them up. And at the very least, you're saving the world. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, it's the same old cycle. Get the key, get the shrine, get the totem, get out, essentially. And we're going to be going back here again. And now it's pointing over there for some reason. Huh. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this. And first, let's get this little thing, whatever it is. So yeah, since it is raining, you can actually swim in the water and you get a lot of these things. The augment. Well, for example, you don't scar easily, and that intimidates people. All right. Honestly, I don't really use augments in this game. Like in the last game, they were really useful, but in this game, they're kind of inconsequential. Ultimately, I mean, I mean, yeah, the legendary weapons have augments, but like, well, I mean, this weapon, for example, is just completely useless. And well, then again, I don't know. I need the I need to try actually making a sword that's actually kind of my own. But, like, I, I limited myself to this sword because I wanted to, so I shouldn't be complaining very loudly. Anyways, there we are, the storm key. Green. <laughs> if you hold it close to your ear, you can almost hear the sound of distant thunder. Alright, well, we, I'll, I believe that, I guess. Oh, dog suddenly warps, alright. Alright, so let's make our way back to, um, wherever. So yeah, we couldn't access this little area, I suppose, during the sun, because, you know, the lake was too... Well, there was no water. And we couldn't access it during the ice, because obviously the ice bridge. Well, for one. So we're going to be running through this little area again, and, um... Oh. Is that Valverine's? Wow, it's raining, and there are Valverine's! It's the whole glade again! Hooray! <laughs> I don't know why they're complaining. I restored them back to their former goal. Oh, wait, they that's why they left the place, right? Okay, and they're not following me. That's good news. All right, so as far as where the Storm Shrine is, we've actually already seen it before. However, we couldn't get into it because, well, it was kind of buried underneath a crap load of snow. I mean, well, not just... Well, the Sun Shrine was buried underneath ice, but... You can see it's completely drowned now. <laughs> but uh, the Storm Shrine is actually going to be all the way up here where we originally found the Ice Key, actually. So, kind of a nice little... Uh, what's the word? I forget, but... Eh, I forget so many words. Eh, how did I graduate college? Oh, get out of my way! But seriously, what are you going to do? Huh, just the two hobs though, that's surprising. Is 
think I don't know this more. Just couldn't see because of the darkness. And the sun now finally decides to come up. Anyways, as you can see here, there is the storm shrine, which is now completely unearthed thanks to the lack of snow. So, convenient, I suppose. So let's go ahead and put in the final key. And we don't get a close-up this time. How odd. Kind of wanted to see that key close-up, too. That stinks. And of course we're going to get a save. Any time now. And here we go, the Storm Shrine. Undeniably my least favorite of the three shrines. And you're going to see very much so why. It's also, I believe, the longest, if my memory serves me correctly. So, yeah. Expect the... This is probably going to be a two-video kind of thing, at least. Let's see, and already we get some treasure. Let's see. Oh, it's a book. Alright, well, that's convenient. Alright, Volume 4. Oh, I can go over Volume 5 now, too. Uh, let's see. The new settlers waited in the hush apprehension as their bravest warriors entered the ice shrine. They had endured hunger, cold, terrible times, and devastating storms to get here. And now they would discover whether they truly landed at their new home or at their final resting place. There was a grinding sound in the rocks of the mountains, and the crowd prayed to the heavens as a bright light washed over it. When it passed, they opened their eyes to a blinding, vital sunshine and cheered as the snow began to melt around them. Their warrior has succeeded. So, that boy obviously tells them that they were successful initially, anyways, with getting the Ice Shrine. And, uh, now let's go ahead and see if I can find the fifth book. Let's see. Where are you? Sand, Reaver, Visitor Book. I don't recognize some of these books. It's been that long. Uh, let's see. What? It's not here. What? Well, it's gotta be here. It's the books. It's not here! Well, maybe it's... Yeah, I had a feeling it was going to be here. They act like silver keys right down to the section they're in. Anyways, once they had the sun totem in their position, Not Whole Tribe began to build a village, toiling under a scorching sun, full of joy, but parched with thirst. Over the course of the next few weeks, the best warriors made preparations to enter the other two shrines on the island and recover the storm and ice totems. And since we don't have volume 6 yet, I'm going to go ahead and stop it right there. Since I don't want to spoil stuff. Eh, yeah, this is reason number one why I don't like this place. Oh, yay. Balverines again. Shadow Balverines, too, I think. Yep, Shadow Balverines. Alright, but yeah, we got, got to go up there, apparently. Yeah. Do -do. yeah, I knew there was enemies up there. Now if I can just aim straight, and the uh, <sighs> Balfrings are so annoying in this game. Alright, that's them. Oh, there's one left. There we go. I'm just lazily shooting my gun at them. <laughs> that's what it's come down to. Alright, now that I think I've cleared off this area, uh, I think this is inactive. Oh, it looks like that one... Back in the ice shrine. Alright, well, let's go ahead and survey the area, I suppose. Let's see. That's locked. Oh, damn it, Skinly! Alright, you know what? Let's put, the, let's put an end to this now. Preferences. Notifications. Off. Oh, okay, no more distractions. No more interruptions. Alright, let's go ahead and continue looking around this place. A little dog senses something. Oh, there are enemies here. Alright. So let's cure them out, I guess. What, the dog got hurt? How? I didn't even... What? Alright. I'm holding the pistol weird, but... I did not see when the dog got hurt there. Honestly, I did not. Alright. And right away, the dog senses a tick spot. All right, all right, all right. I'm coming. Tick, 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 tick. Let's see what we get this time. Oops. What two? Yes, because that's so totally useful. All right, let's 
continue looking around. Alright, I can't go over there. Uh, do I look... Well, yeah, I can target that, but it didn't do anything. Well, of course it didn't do anything. Um, let's see. I know they have that little torch thing that you can do in Fable 3. Uh, it might be a little bit too early for this game, though. What the? How did that work? Huh. Let's see, that... Oh, this is locked. Let's see, um... You know what? Yeah, I had a feeling. It wasn't inactive after all. God damn it. I really don't have anyone else to blame but myself, honestly. That was kind of a stupid moment for me. I mean, it didn't look like this, so I thought it was inactive. Nah. Not fair. Stupid thing. And this opens up, of course. And enemies! I have a close corner enemies, too. Ah. Alright, screw this. There. That clears that out. And let's go ahead and get the treasure first. God damn, though. I pretty much threw away three minutes for one stupid mistake. Ugh. I feel like an idiot. Oh, knight armor. Yay! Spell for you. Let's see. Blah, 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 blah. Most of those who tried wearing it never got so far as this main piece. Those who did generally fell down in a mess of broken bones. <laughs> My god, the not whole gladians is... They become complete wimps. I mean, okay, and they conveniently tell us where that went. And oddly, this place does remind me of uh, the Temple of Light for some reason. But um, I mean, seriously, I mean, you go from a a town that has a fight club and like a, the burliest chieftain alive to just a complete gaggle of wusses. I mean, how is that even possible? Like, I mean, well, I mean, they did have 500 years, I suppose, but, I mean, still, that's kind of pathetic, honestly. And more enemies. Uh, let's see if I can, how many I can pick off from here. <laughs> yeah, that fancy jumping didn't do, really do much, did it? And I don't even know why I'm bothering collecting this damn experience. Let's see. Ah, resurrection file. Eh. I don't even know how many of those I have at this point. Okay, let's go. Alright, it's at its final place. So we can finally be done with this room. Thank God. And more enemies. Okay. I mean, honestly... I mean, I... This room actually doesn't seem too bad, I'm thinking back, but like, just because of that one gigantic air that I did, it made it a lot more worse for me, so, man. But I mean, this is only the start of the dungeon, too. And looking at the time that I'm in, like, even if I discount the uh, few minutes that I wasted, I, I, I'm still almost at a full video's worth. Let's go with a level 5. Don't want to play anything to chance. Yeah, yeah, enough howling. Just die already so I can get on with it. Alright, so let's go ahead and go up here, finally. Hit this split switch for the last time. And we can finally enter this dome, which leads us to a gigantic hole. And, uh, let's see if there's anything around here. Mm, nope, let's just jump in. And this essentially starts the second part of the Storm Shrine, but I'm going to cut the video off here. So, this is Guy Christian 9 with Let's Play Fable 2 Lost... Uh, I mean, Not Whole Island. And in the next episode, we will continue the Storm Shrine. I will see you then, guys.